Flag is up. And away they go. I'll tell you, Messi starts on the inside. Vivacious Vicky and French Duchess, they came together. Vivacious Vicky was right up there in the first part of the race with King Rahul with a red jacket. Then comes Super Awesome, the orange sleeves down the center. French Duchess goes to the inside, just nuisance. Then we drop back to charge ahead. Further back is Breath of Magic. Towards the outside is Stormy Choice, Tyson the Brave, and Ato Potato is about five lengths off them. I would say Stormy Choice is in front with Tyson the Brave, Super Awesome. Then comes Vivacious Vicky. On the inside is French Duchess, who's starting to move into contention now under Samanga Kamalo and French Duchess is coming at Stormy Choice and Vivacious Vicky. Stormy Choice is just in front, Vivacious Vicky and on the inside King Rahul is absolutely taking off. Stormy Choice and King Rahul. King Rahul, Stormy Choice, there's nothing in it. King Rahul, Stormy Choice, Stormy Choice. Stormy Choice beats King Rahul, super awesome. Vivacious Vicky, then on the inside we had the filly and just didn't really find much. I wonder if we can probably pull up the start over here just to see what happened between these two horses vivacious vicky and french duchess they were the leading lights they were one two in the market they haven't really featured and it's been left to stormy choice to get the job done under gavin larina well done to david neverhazen well done to mr zed kirsten bred by the ascot stud was bought for 130,000 rand and that's a nice way to open up proceedings for david they've got that horse no filter who comes up in about 35 minutes from now. All right, we're gonna show the starts. Let's have a look at the left-hand side of the screen. Let's have a look. Let's see what happened over here. Vivacious Vicky drawn one. The filly, oh, they've come together. Vivacious Vicky looked like it was jumping in. And the meat in the sandwich over there, unfortunately, was Charge Ahead, who didn't really get much of a chance over that. All right, so thanks to Ricky for that. That's what's happened in the first. I'll hand you back to the studio. PA starts in race number two. So Stormy Choice is the winner of race number one, owned by Zane Kirsten, bred by the Ascot Stud, ridden by Gavin Larina and trained by David Nevenazen. Now start for David with an important runner coming up in race number two. Let's get David in first. He's got to go saddle and Gavin's got no ride in race two. Um, how nice was that? That was a nice, gutsy, tenacious win. Was it the drop back to 1,000 metres that was key here? Yeah, look, the drop back to 1,000 was the right thing to do. Um, the programme, we've just had to go where we could. Uh, um, yeah, she, she, was a bit, she had a bit of bad luck last time where she was squeezed. Um, says that she was lame, but she was squeezed out at the crucial stage and uh, she never got a run. Uh, not some Unger's fault. It was uh, just the running of the race. Um, yeah, we, uh, Gavin's obviously asked for the ride. He's been doing work as well. Uh, at Turfentain, so he saw he, he had a companion that he rode next to this filly, and he said, "Please give me this ride, you know, because he's done quite a bit of work for me." So thanks, Gav. And um, I said to Gav, "I have to take the draw on the outside, you know, and uh, against the boys, get the two and a half." Uh, so thank goodness it played out. The first time she was scratched coming to the vol, she was injured on the float, so we haven't had her come back to the vol again until today. But I must thank Carlos to the groom. Uh, did a great job with her getting her yeah and all in one piece and um, also to uh, to Matthew and Michael from New Turf for helping me out to get her yeah in in one piece because uh, she can be quite a hot filly and uh, yeah thank you Zane Kirsten um, I said uh, to Zane Zane we're going for this one you know um, it, and then you hear all the talk about all the other horses but thank goodness it played out and uh, to the breeder and that uh, Ascot and that congratulations I think she's a nice filly and in time. We'll hopefully get some ground, yeah, um, like Stormy, but uh, at this point, we'll stick with a 1,000. Take temperament out of the picture. Characteristically, how, sim how similar is she to her brother, Stormy Winter? Um, he's a lot bigger. I don't think she's going to get his size. Um, I think they're two completely different horses, uh, temperaments as well. Um, I never knew him as a as a colt, a stormy winter. Um, I knew him only as a gelding and uh, his temperament's absolutely amazing. Um, I think this filly's settling now as well and uh, um, the first couple of races, her temperament was against her and um, I think she's she's back in here now. So we, we can go forward with her, probably go down to Durban. Now, no filter in the next. I'm sure that was the one that you really expected to win today. Do you expect her to win? I actually liked both. Um, I really did. Uh, we just had to decide you know, the draws uh, indicated where we were going to run them. Um, uh, no filter, I think it's a slightly easier field um, against the fillies. Uh, we drawn down the outside and I took the draws and hopefully this one pays off as well. All the best, David. Thank you. Well done to David Nevenaz and always been a very good trainer. Gavin Larino, winning jockey, good to see you again. Thanks very much, Elliot. Great to see you. 
How's the track? Track's lovely, good condition, uh, nice cross covering. Uh, the cross is quite long, so there's a bit of give in the ground. Obviously, there's a touch of a headwind, but good going. How was that win? Because it looked like Muzi was really going to deliver a challenge and then this winner was finding a little bit at the end. Was that the case? Yeah, she's she's a very nice filly, this, and uh, I think five furlong is a game for now. Uh, I think we've got a great start, and uh, she was into the race very quickly for me. I think we, we won it there. Um, I was able to give her a nice breather, and, you know, Muzi was coming at me, but uh, when I asked her for that last effort, she, she really knuckled down and gave me a good kick. David was talking about the temperament. She certainly didn't strike me today as if, you know, she throws her toys from time to time. Did you feel that at all today? Yeah, look, I was meant to ride her first time out here at the Vol and she went crazy in the floats and that. Um, so a big thank you to, to the guys at New Turf. Um, they did a, a great job with her today. She, she does have her quirks. Um, you know, even at the gate, she, she gets herself in a tiz for two or three seconds and, if you, you know, just be nice to her and she, she settles down again. Now, what about the rest of your day? You got some lovely chances and action, Samoa, perfect witness, and uh, also big eyed girl. What are you expecting from those four? Yeah, and action ran a nice third first time out. Um, looks like he can come on from that race. Um, perfect witness, obviously, it's short of her best trip. Um, but Candace says she's doing nicely at home and just hoping for a nice, confident race with her. You have placed on her and legs of the Volkerbos tri Triple Tiara, so that's how good she can be. Yeah, look, she's a brilliant filly, and uh, I think if Candace gets to the bottom of her and we get her back, she's she can bet it out to the best. Um, and then Samoa, she's my old faithful. She always runs well. I think she prefers a vol slightly better, so looking forward to riding her today. And uh, Big Eye Girl, she got a three and a half kilogram penalty for last time, but she's got the Phillies allowance today. And uh, I think Johan's got in a good space. I'm sure she'll run well. Good start, Gav. Thanks very much. Big thank you to Zane. Uh, great to ride him another winner. And to Nikki and the whole Nivelaisen family, thank you very much. And to Vilkobos Shrift and Mertzfontein. Good start. Thank you. Well done, Gavin Lorena, the winning jockey. Well done to all the team. David Nivenez and the winning trainer. Maybe, just maybe, we'll see him back after the running of race two. Well done to Zane Kirsten, his uh, very striking light blue and black, and also Ascot Stud. With regard to the World Sports Betting Grooms, well, with one presenter and uh, no groom, I'm going to have to be very good to hand over those prizes throughout the day. We'll try and get uh, someone to hand them out, but uh, very well done to the winning groom as well. The 1500 Rand World Sports Betting check coming his way. Race number two, first leg of the PA coming up.